everybody, Chris here from the Off Grid Schoolie. I want to thank today's sponsor of the video, Displate. You're going to see me installing some Displate posters, uh, the metal posters, in today's video when you're actually creating the bulkhead here for the chest freezer. Did a lot of research online. I didn't want to just have one flat black color there, just paint it. So I found Displate, decided to give them a shot. Uh, I purchased the gear, had it shipped to me, and then installed it. Then after that, I reached out to Displate to see if they'd be interested in working with me. Being that they're sponsoring today's video, in the description down below, you'll find a discount code. You can go to their website. They have over 160,000 different designs. Uh, I found you know, some of this abstract art that was going to be going with the theme. I'm going to be painting the cabinets here uh, dark color, so you know it'll have the light and dark. Also an advantage, they're removable, so anytime you want to change your different artwork, you can just take it off. Uh, the bulkhead right here, the 1200 miles I drove back home, held up perfectly fine, the plates didn't fall off, uh, they didn't rattle, it worked out great. I'm really happy I found this company, it's like I said, partnering with them, uh, and they're sponsoring this video. You can find that discount code down below. Thanks for watching. All right, Jim, catch us up on what's been going on. It's been snowing. It has. It's been a little chilly. It's been a little chilly. I got a message very early this morning from Chris that said it was 15 degrees into the bus. Yep, it was pretty chilly. Well, actually, it's 15 in Penrose. Oh, in Penrose, okay. So, so here it's usually colder than, than that prediction so it may have been five it was, my, my toes are still numb but uh, we're putting the faces on right now all the pantry drawers everything is fixed and ready to go in uh, earlier today Jim was in the back sanding down the bedroom area got the faces on well got them sized up still need to uh, put some shims in some of them uh, staple or nail from the inside but now we're test fitting the pantry so the faces that I made these guys or the, the grain is the wrong direction. The grain is up and down on all these. In drawers, <laughs> the grain should always go sideways. Okay? On doors, the grain should be up and down. Okay? So, Chris says he doesn't care. So, we're going with that. Jim really cares. And the thing is, it's not like I purposely do it. It's just as I'm going through scrap, I'm like, oh, it'll work that way. <laughs> It'll fit that way. But we're going to see if these fit. Since they paint, we're going to make them look good. Yep. Got a couple of nails we need to. So, pantry is all done besides paint and magnetic strips that go on the inside that actually hold the doors in, but looks pretty good. If Tons you of storage. do say so yourself. Absolutely. First cabinet built with some assistance. So what you working on there? You did almost everything. I'm just putting some hinges, three hinges on a long door. This goes back in the bedroom. On the hinges, you got little bitty, you got small flathead screws. They go on the inside of the door. Then you've got round head screws. They go on the outside of the door. They're a little bit longer. Why is it round headed? Just for aesthetics? Yeah. What are we doing today, Jim? What are we doing today? Well, same thing we do every day. Try and take over the world. We're building a bus. <laughs> People are actually commenting on that in the comments now. I actually saw it today on the year-long video. Building a bus? 
Yep, he actually put in quotes. What are we doing today, Jim? Oh. <laughs> Building a bus. So today we are going to be putting the freezer in, doing the face of that. Everything's cut and ready to go. We'll see if the measurements hold true. Towards the end, be installing these disc plate posters, metal posters, which is gonna go on the face of the freezer. next okay next is a um, bravery test why is it bravery test because we're gonna cut his expensive butcher block countertops and what makes them super special they're super special because they're black American walnut well they're fancy because of that but it is the second to last American walnut that lumber liquidators carry. Yep. They went to China for it with everything else. So it's actually American grown. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and it's American the last made. they have. I actually called because I was looking for a different butcher block, possibly for the stand-up desk in the uh, bathroom. Mm -hmm. And they confirmed that they no longer carry it. And that was two days ago. Wow. Make sure before you paint that you take these edges off. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think, I think it looks really good, Chris. I do too. Thanks for the help. 